You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, with us, we have an expert on this topic, uh, a very busy practice, implant dentistry here in San Diego, Dr. Armin Haig. Dr. Haig, welcome to the program. Well, thanks for having me today. Now, for people that don't know your implant center in San Diego, who's your typical, like who comes in for dental implants? Who's the typical patient? So we generally have two uh, groups of patients. Uh, group one are people who have teeth, but the teeth are bad. Okay. Bone loss, um, they have loose teeth, the teeth hurt, they can't eat properly with their teeth. And usually they go to the general dentist and they've been told that uh, they are heading into having dentures. A denture, okay. So what we do for this group is we are going to give them brand new set of teeth based on dental implants, okay. which is going to feel and function very close or almost even better than natural teeth. The second group of people are denture veers, the people who lost teeth and the veer dentures. And those are the toughest people because Why they don't go to dentists. They have the denture and that's their new normal and they think it's okay, but it's not okay. And You don't uh, like dentures. So you cannot bite an apple with that. You cannot bite on corn on the cob. You cannot enjoy your steak. You cannot even enjoy your food because it covers your palate. It covers your taste bud. Okay. So it's... It's awful. It's awful. I know a couple denture wears. They never complain. Because they just don't complain to you. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean that they are happy with that. It's just they think there is no other way to have teeth. It is what it is. Grandfather lost teeth. They had dentures. Father lost teeth. Mom lost teeth. They all had dentures. And now it's their time to have the denture. But that's not true. It's 21st century. And dental implants are the future of dentistry. You lose teeth and we replace those teeth for you. With, with dental implants. With dental implants. How old can you be to get this done? I have patients as young as 18 years old and I have patients who are, actually I had a patient, he was 100 years old. 100. 100 years old. Why would exactly. a 100 year old want to do this? So that's actually a funny story. This uh, gentleman uh, came to me. He was 100 years old. Uh, he was actually in good shape. He kind of walked in and okay. I, I knew he was old. I could never say that he was 100 years old. Uh, actually, he, his birth, it was 1917. It was five years ago. Okay. And uh, he walked in. Uh, was he wearing a denture? He had a denture. Okay. He, had, he had dentures, actually, top and the bottom. And he told me, I'm 100 years old. I haven't had barbecue for years. Okay. I really want to have barbecue, and I want okay. teeth for that. Okay. And uh, I looked at him. I looked at the x-ray, um, and I told him that, okay, let's do some implants for you, and it's going to take six months. He said, no. I don't have six months. I want to eat today. I want to eat my barbecue. I might not have okay. six months. Okay. And uh, I told him, okay, let's see what we can do. So we ended up placing a little bit more than usual implants for him. And I made him teeth that went onto those dental implants the same day. And he sent me the picture that night. He went to Phil's barbecue. Really? Uh, yeah, exactly. Here in San Diego. And he was eating the ribs and he was so happy. I think uh, <laughs> uh, he passed away six months ago, but I think he had very happy uh, several years because he could I eat. I mean, you had to be nervous doing, you know, doing surgery, mm -hmm. even though it's micro small surgery, but on a hundred year old, were you a little nervous? Not really. Okay. It's just uh, age doesn't really matter. So we, statistically, they're not more likely to fall out if you're 90 or 80? Not really. 
in okay. in theory they might have it might take more time for them to heal okay but based on my experience no it so no when you hear an 80 year old say i'm too old doctor mm -hmm. they're not too old they are not too old that's young in your well life. i had a hundred years old patient who walked out with teeth the same day from my office and used those teeth for almost five years that's nice that's nice yeah the uh now, so a lot of 70 year olds, 80 year olds are doing 70 this? 70 is perfect, 80, 90, even 100 is perfect. Okay, good. Any, any age you come to me, you are going to have teeth. I've never had a patient that I had to turn away. Okay. Whoever came to me, they left with implants and it worked for them. And teeth. So this is the, the new tooth replacement. This is the new tooth replacement, exactly. So what do they like more, the way it looks or the things that they could eat? Both. Okay. But uh, if a patient is a denture rear, dentures, they usually they don't look that bad. Okay. Uh, so they care more about the function. If a patient is younger, they care more about the looks. But the reality is when we do teeth in this scale, we care about both function and the looks so patients they look amazing if it's a young patient that young patient i usually tell them hey after i'm finished with you you can go to hollywood it's going to look that good <laughs> yeah okay. exactly and it applies to the older patients too i i care about the looks the teeth they must look good even if the patients they don't care about that but they gradually like about that one two three four five compliments they are going to enjoy having beautiful teeth. And of course the function is there. They can eat everything that they could what about with like natural nuts? teeth. Do they have to they, be careful with nuts? No, not really. Anything that you can eat with healthy natural teeth, you can eat with implant supported teeth also. So you could probably chew ice, but you don't want them to do that. Well, I don't advise that, but yes. Now let's talk about your center for a second, uh, because it's very, in a way it's unique because you have your own laboratory, you make the teeth right there. You com on a computer, you mill the teeth right in your office. So I guess how dental implants are typically done, correct me if I'm wrong, is you go to one place that does the surgery, one doctor, and then you go to another doctor that puts the teeth on top. And in many cases, you go somewhere else to keep them clean or maintain them. At your office, you do all that right there. Is that why you do it so quickly? It's true, but there is more into that. Okay. We simulate everything with computer even before patients come for surgery okay so on the day that they come over there for surgery the temporary teeth are ready the surgical guide we know exactly where the implants they must go where that where those teeth are going to end up and of course there are some other um, minor stuff that need to be taken care of we have a team of professionals at our disposal we even have the intraoral scanner. That's, What's that? That is a 3D scanner that scans the mouth, that scans the exact location of the implants, exact location of the teeth. Like a wand that goes in their mouth? It's uh, like a wand that goes into your mouth. Yes, okay. you can say that. And it and takes a, like a picture of it. It scans, so it makes a 3D model of your mouth okay. um, on the computer. And we are going to pair that with uh, a 3D X-ray that we have. So we know exactly where the bone is, where the gum is. We know the smile profile and we are going to design the smile. We are going to do all that even before the patients walk in for the surgery. Do they get to see what their teeth are going to look like ahead of time on a computer? I mean, are oh. you able to simulate that? Absolutely. That's How's actually, that done? That's part of the work. Okay. Usually when patients come to me, uh, they either don't have teeth or we, there are teeth that we have to pull. If they have teeth, uh, so that's easy because we are going to make them a temporary permanent teeth okay. based on our own denture. But it doesn't, it's not going to be denture, it's going to be natural teeth. But we have the reference. That denture is going to be a temporary reference. And okay. later on, we are going to convert it into uh, something absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And they are going to be involved in the process they are going to see where the teeth are how long the teeth are going to be do they ever see like the their face on the screen and say i want that yes i saw that and uh, it might be funny i had cases they said 
I don't want that. Really? Okay. Yes, I want something different. So they are involved in designing their own teeth. If they want gap, they show me pictures and they say, I had, I was 17 years old and these were my teeth and I really want to look like when I was 17. You can give, give them a gap in their front teeth? We can give them a gap. You've done that? Yes, we can give them crowding. Anything, any picture that they show me, we can reproduce that for them. So do you believe in your center that you've created? Like you're doing it at the highest level? At the highest level. Any new technology that makes sense in dentistry, we are the first to employ that technology at okay. our practice. Like digital impression. Like older days, uh, you go to dentist and they used to put this gooey material in your mouth. They still do does, it, right? They still do that. And in certain occasions, we might still do that too. But most of the impressions now are digital. So that wand, as you called it, goes into the mouth and it scans the mouth That's nice and click off the button it immediately goes to our lab so there's no gooey material go into your mouth no oversized tray for the impression everything is so much... they're making the teeth in the other room the computer is yes milling the teeth making milling the teeth yes exactly and uh, we make them ready while the patient is uh, being sedated for the surgery, general anesthesia, because these uh, procedures are long. It can't be done in half hours. So usually we are looking at uh, about a half to full day okay. uh, in our office. Now you're using sedation dentistry? What are sedation, you doing? Sedation, general anesthesia. Okay. So it depends on the case uh, we have. So you can do IV sedation? IV or sedation, whatever. general anesthesia. Depends on the case. We have this specialist for this. So procedures. they don't feel anything. They're numbed no. up. They don't feel anything. In fact, uh, patients come to me and uh, most patients, they are very nervous. Okay. They are very nervous. They never had a dental implant. They don't know how... It is, they go to internet, they read something, and it's just not easing up their fear. I always tell them just this. I know that you are scared, you should, because you don't know what we are going to do for you. But I guarantee one thing. Okay. You are going to love me when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You say they all have regrets, and their regret is they should have done it earlier. You say they wait too long to fix their teeth. Elaborate on that. So you might lose teeth. It doesn't matter how you take care of your teeth. There are several teeth that might go bad and you have to replace them. Okay. But if you postpone it at the very end, you might end up with um, like full set of teeth on dental implants. Okay. Obviously, it's much more cost effective for you to replace teeth each time that you lose them. Okay. But, uh, but people wait and put it off, especially guys, right? Don't they wait until they're in so much pain they finally come in and do something? They do, actually. They usually wait till there's something happens to, to the front teeth because they don't oh, is give. That right? okay. Exactly. So they don't, they don't really care about the back teeth and they. It, they can't really chew the food they use to chew because they don't have back teeth. But as long as the front teeth are intact, they just don't They're come fine. to the dentist. And all of a sudden, like one front tooth breaks. And at that point, they realize they it's really in. time to, to come in. Exactly. So no more dentures. You think that's the future? We are living in the future. And I have to address this. Price. People... Because even the best dental insurance only covers a little bit. Is that mm -hmm. right? I mean, very little. Yes. Uh, Medicaid doesn't cover it. Yes. Medicare doesn't really cover it. Mm -hmm. But you say people finance it. So we accept all insurance, even if it's a very tiny amount. If they cover that, we are going to utilize that. And Good. it certainly helps. Uh, we have multiple venue of financing for our patients uh, when they come for consults. That's part of the consults. We go over the financial aspect with that. That's nice. And uh, we also tailor made treatment. So if a certain treatment is too expensive for our patients, 
we are going to try to tailor make a treatment that works with their own budget so we make sure that no one leaves our center without being offered a treatment plan that they can afford okay nice now you say losing teeth is expensive that your philosophy is not to just remove all the teeth and give implants if mm -hmm. you can save them you're going to absolutely you believe that absolutely so i am not in favor of removing healthy teeth for a full mouth of implants does that so, go on well that happens that happens uh in other places but with us if natural teeth can be saved and they can be implemented okay. into the treatment plan in a feasible way we definitely save them and that saves tons of money for our patients what about those people that have bad gums like gum disease are their gums too bad to get implants absolutely not when we pull the teeth we clean all that bacteria infection and the gums are going to heal pink and very smooth and most patients almost 99 percent of the patients who come to me they can have dental implants there are exceptions it's very rare there are okay. cases that we had where you couldn't do anything we couldn't do but that those are very very rare i would say those account for less than one one percent of the patients that we see you, have you ever had that in your own personal practice had to say i'm sorry there's nothing we could do uh it's n I never said that we can't do, but we are in we are we work with their medical doctors. So okay. some patients they have conditions, and the medical team they need to give us permission to place okay. the implants, and they didn't give us the permission. Otherwise, no. As long as we have that permission, we can do dental implants. Now, statistically, if you're over the age of 80 years old, you're on at least three or four medications. Okay. Can somebody be on medications and get this done? absolutely osteoporosis medications absolutely okay yeah so that's not uh, an issue so in theory when you have osteoporosis and you take osteoporosis medication you might have complications in reality it's very rare i do implants on osteoporosis patients every okay. day and in my lifetime i saw complications I, I, the, there is only one patient that I can remember that who had complications. Okay. So it's very safe for patients with osteoporosis. You say this whole procedure is life changing. It is okay. actually. Uh, and I have stories to tell you from our, my actual patients. So I had this patient who was very tough. Uh, whenever I saw him, he was frowny. He had this very heavy chin and um he had a partial denture okay and one of the teeth that was holding the partial denture broke and at that point i told him hey you cannot have the partial denture anymore because it's not a stable so we might have to do implants for you and we did the full mouth implants for him we did the same day teeth for him and uh I saw him just one week after the surgery. Yeah. He was not that tough guy anymore. He was <laughs> laughing. He, it, it's, it's kind of funny. I don't know how to put that in word that he walked into the office and the teeth, they walked in first. So he was smiling all over. I said, wow, man, you really needed good teeth to smile. And he was happy. He was making jokes. He, he never made jokes, believe me. He was one of those people that was very tense all the time. But he was laughing. He was talking. He was making compliments to assistants. He was, he was so positive. So that was one of those uh, occasions that I said, wow, this, this guy really changed. It's changed his life. And you see uh, that a lot. I, I see that a lot. Like you I give see them that new a lot. Teeth and what their self esteem? The self esteem way is high. And it's not just a self esteem. Like self esteem is the first step. You become happier. You become more talkative. Um, Good. Some people are 
kind of more reclusive they feel more confident to go to bars to pubs um open conversation with strangers do they tell you this they tell me all this they become yeah. more outgoing absolutely because they're confident i guess that's exactly how it is are there that many people that hate their teeth in san diego many people many people. can you spot it like you're you're out and about you could tell who's co- hiding their teeth can you see it sometimes I see people and I know exactly what's going on with their teeth. Exactly. They're hiding their, their smile. Yes. Now, when a patient comes to you on a consult, do they always see you? Because I know you have a team of doctors. Always okay. see me. Yes. So when they see you and they're telling their bad story about how their teeth mm-hmm. are bad, do you ever get excited in your mind where you say, they have no idea how good this is going to be? They have no idea. They have no idea. So they probably heard something online, saw some advertisement, watched some YouTube videos, but they have no idea <laughs> how their life is going to change. Really? With teeth and dental implants. It's like being 20 years old again. <laughs> really? Exactly. It's like, you know, those, sh- those, those TV shows, um, and I've had him on my program where the guy gets his hair back and he's like hiking and mm-hmm. running and swimming and dating. Oh, it's Isn't much, it the same it's, thing it's, like it's this? It's much more than that. As you can see, I don't, I, I shave my head. I really, I was not into hair and I still do those things. But believe me, teeth are much different. So some people are really bothered by it. They are. And they are. And some people, they acknowledge the problem and some other people are in denial. But once they get the treatment, they realize how bad the life was before having this treatment. So they're never left without teeth because that happens. You know, they remove the teeth. They make you wait a long. You're saying that when you remove the teeth, you give them teeth Mm -hmm. that are fixed in their mouth that don't come out. Is that right? That's true for most patients. There are still cases that we might not be able to do that the same day. Uh, some because it's all about having enough bone and if we had patients they came to us and they didn't have enough bone and we had to create the bone for them so no patient leaves us without having dental implants without some sort of uh, they teeth all, in their mouth they're all gonna exactly have... they all going to have some sort of teeth in their now, mouth if you're wearing yes. a denture for 20 years mm-hmm. can you still do this or you don't have enough bone of course you can do that. Okay. If you don't have enough bone, that's my problem. You don't have enough bone, I'm going to make it for you. That's good. That's that, good. That's my job. That's not your problem. You come to me, you want teeth, I give you teeth. You told me that some of your patients are told elsewhere, you don't have enough bone to do this. Mm-hmm. You hear that? Yes. A and lot. A is lot. it just because of the training of the, of the dentist that says that? So... Dental implants are complicated enough. You, you cannot really learn dental implants on a weekend course in Mexico okay. as a dentist. And they really don't teach that at dental schools. It's, if it's a subject that you might have to be an oral surgeon or periodontist or experienced. So dental implants are complicated. So you've, you've done a lot of training. Yes. I think you've, I mean, you've traveled all over the country. Yes. I do. Actually, in fact, I teach dental implants to dentists who wish to place them. So we have basic courses, we have advanced courses for more uh, advanced practitioners. How did I miss that? So you, you, everything we're talking about today, you teach other dentists how to do? Yes, we do. Okay. Do. Yes. You think that makes you better a little bit? I mean, when you teach something? Well, I'm still learning. Every case that I do, nice. I learn something new from that case. So learning never stops. But it's all about experience. Is that right? Yes. When you do thousands of cases, thousands of implants each year, tens of thousands in the course of a decade. So that experience, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not something that you can acquire in it takes time. one week. It takes time. Exactly. Are you that much better than you were 10 years ago doing this? I'm much better. I can't You say didn't that. even know what you didn't know exactly 10 years ago is that exactly right? you don't know what you don't know and that experience brings it but experience is very important we're, we're, we're just about out of time but if somebody comes to you they either like you all of their teeth need to be removed you can't save them mm-hmm. 
or the people that are currently wearing dentures. What are their options in your practice when it comes to dental implants? It really depends on their budget. Okay. Um, we can place two implants and we can make a snap on, snap out teeth. It's like a denture that snaps on implants. Okay. It's a step up from the regular denture, but I don't like it because pe patients, they don't like it. Um, okay. And then we have a snap on and off based on four implants. They can eat salad. They can eat uh, some food that they could not um, eat otherwise. But the best, of course, is to have fixed teeth. Teeth that on don't come out. Implant, the teeth that don't come yeah, out exactly. but the upper denture is okay, right? Because there's suction. The upper denture is anything but okay because okay. it covers your palate, it covers your taste buds, and it might stay in, but you can never taste food. As well. As well with a, with a top denture because it covers the taste buds. So with what you're doing, that's opened up now. It's going to be exactly like natural teeth. Okay. And then... I'm, I'm not opening up anything. I give people something that is almost as good as natural teeth. All right. Is it like the third set of teeth? You got baby teeth, adult teeth, and now you got dental implants. That is exactly what you said. The third set of teeth. We're out of time. So final message to a patient watching this. They're of the two groups. Really, really bad teeth that have to come out or the denture wearer. What's your message to them? They've heard what you have to say, but for whatever reason, they're still skeptical or scared or whatever. What do you say to them? I always say, if you don't like your teeth, if you have teeth that hurt, if you go to a restaurant and you cannot eat your favorite food, if you don't have the self-confidence to smile, just come and see me and we are going to go over your teeth, we are going to go over your x-rays together, and I'm going to give you the best option okay. based on your budget and based on your condition. Is, if, it, a, is it a complimentary it's consultation? Complimentary You're consultation. not charging for a consult? There's no charge for that. And we are going to give patients the comprehensive treatment plan. So they know exactly how much it's going to cost them, if they cannot, if they think it's too expensive, we are going to tailor made a treatment for them. But we always have a solution. That's what I take Good. my pride in. We always Good. come up with a solution for patients. Good. Now, now, uh, if somebody wants to make an appointment, they just go to the website or call your office, make an mm -hmm. appointment there. Is, yes. that, is that correct? Yes. Dr. Haig, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. Thank you for having me. So do you recommend they just go to the website, make an appointment there, or call your office? I would say probably calling the office is okay. the fastest option. Okay. We always have um, attendants. They can help them with the appointments. Okay, good. Thanks again for coming in. Good sure. stuff. Absolutely. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.